Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. She is Chris Cyborg. Chris, how are you this afternoon? Uh, happy uh, 4th of July. We're recording a day before here. No, I'm excited. You know, tomorrow's going to be a big day. It, it absolutely is. And we got a lot of news to get into. Uh, first, let's start with Jose Aldo returning to the boxing ring in Brazil this week and got another win. He's now 3-0 and as a pro. How cool is it to see a fellow Brazilian like yourself uh, enter the boxing ring? You know, I'm really happy to see the Jose Aldo back to, to the rings and doing great. Every fight, every boxing fight is getting better and better. And, you know, I'm, I wish the best for him doing great. Probably we're going to be watching. And I love to see his two compete, you know. I believe he's coming back to MMA one day. And let's see. We'll see what happens. And going to take a bit of a sharp turn here. Some really sad news. Uh, Chris Lesione, um, we, we know all about what's been happening on social media. Uh, suffering a stroke, the Bellator fighter, Chris Sunshine, that is. I'm sure you've heard Chell Sonnen talk about it. I've seen you talk about it. Um, there's there's the GoFundMe page. Uh, he suffered a stroke, and it's uh, just some really, uh, you know, just devastating news here. Um, I guess just, you know, we, we need to support this guy, right? Uh, it's one. He's, he's a member of our community. You know, uh, really sad. Uh, only only 28 years old. He's had eight fights, seven one. He was doing great job. You know, his MMA career. Um, we're gonna continue pray for him. Everybody else too. So if you'd like to support him, donate for his family for continue fighting for him. Make sure to go to the my website. I believe I have the link over there, and for sure online you can find too. And let's continue pray for him to recover fast. Very well said. Uh, let's take another turn. Bellator back to Japan, and I, they have a really exciting matchup between Danny Sabatello and Magomed Magomov, uh, Magomedov, I should say. Uh, interesting one. Who, who do you give the edge to here, Chris? Uh, you know, they're, they're both outstanding bantamweights in that division. No, I mean, going for Italian, Italian gangster, you know, Sabatello, mm -hmm. and he's went with you, I remember, James, with you at our catch-up. That's and, right. Yeah, we've had him on here. Yeah, he's great. Yes, and you fought together in Hawaii. I believe he's going to do great fights. We'll see. I, I it's it's very uh, rare that I go against a guy with the last name Magomedov, so I think I'll go with Magomedov in, in this one. Now uh, we'll see. Uh, we got UFC 290 this Saturday. I'm excited. Going to be there in person for that one. The main event is Alex Volkanovski defending his featherweight title against interim champion Yair Rodriguez. Volkanovski's the favorite. Chris, who are you going with in this fight? No, it's going to be a great fight. Rodriguez very explosive and trick, but you know Volkanovski is. More well-rounded and doing great. And I'm going to Volkanovsk, you know, for victory. Yeah, uh, we're, we're together on this one. As great as Yair's looked, Volkanovsky, he's, he's too tough to take out, I think. Uh, he hasn't had a single loss at featherweight in the UFC. Just coming off that close fight with Islam Mahashev. I got to go uh, Volk on that one as well. Uh, we mentioned 4th of July. You're going to be going to the parade in Huntington Beach tomorrow. How excited are you? It's a big deal you getting to do this. No, I'm very happy, very excited to the opportunity, excited to be invited. And, you know, coming half a, mi half a, half a million people to the visit to Huntington Beach this day. And tomorrow, 7 a.m., we'll be there with the breakfast and we're going to have the par parade down on the main street. I hope everybody go over there. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, Fourth of July is always always uh, awesome. Uh, you got a new movie coming out here, Operation Black Ops, releases July 11th. It's available on iTunes, Apple, Amazon, uh, YouTube Movies, and Google Play. How excited are you to be in an action movie, Chris? This, you're doing everything: boxing, MMA, now uh, action movie star. No, I'm very excited. This is my second movie. My first one is Fight Valley. Um, I did it 2016. And this, and the last, the first movie will have some fighters with me: uh, Ahmed Shatete, Holly Holm. And it was a great movie, you know, great experience for me. This is the second movie. I have Tito Ortiz with me, too. We did a lot, of, a lot of work together in the movie, and he's helped me a lot to that. I'm really happy, you know, the, the team there, you know, the people work with me. They really make it easy. I feel very comfortable. I hope you guys enjoy. It's going to be who love acting and want to see how Cyber doing. Um, I, 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 you know, I did my best there. I think you guys are going to love. Make sure July 11th. Yep, going to be checking that out for so sure. YouTube, Google Play, so you can find the movie. Pretty much anywhere. If you go do a yes. quick Google search, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll find it there. And I also saw uh, this past weekend you attended uh, Mia St. John's uh, charity fundraiser event, obviously big in the boxing world. Uh, what, what can you tell us a bit about that? You know, Mia, Mia, Mia Jones, she's, she's a such fighters. You know, she's not just fighting inside the ring. The be was a world champion, but outside the ring. This is the most important thing. You know, she's living an amazing legacy. She lost her son her ex-husband, you know, with uh, mental health. And she's doing her mission for help another family not pass through what she's passed through. So, you know, it was a really great opportunity to be there. And we, made, I made a charity name in honor of my friend Mike Cogan there. It's a pleasure supporting and 
fighting for, you know, something you really is worth it and a really amazing job me are doing. Very well said. Let's get to our Blaze game of the week. We got the Anaheim Angels, San Diego Padres in a three-game series. Who are you going with in, in this Blaze game yeah. of the week? I got to throw the ball, the baseball ball, start game with the Angels. So oh, cool. <laughs> I'm going with the Angels. I know in baseball, uh, I have a lot of fans in San Diego, but I'm now in Orange County, so I'm going to be with uh, pick the Angels. There you go. I'm going to go the San Diego Padres. We'll have to recap next week to see how all that goes. Uh, Chris, before we get out of here, uh, OnlyFans, premium service, chriscyborg.com. you got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. you got the Q&As on the, uh, obviously, chriscyborg.com. And on the OnlyFans, you got all types of behind-the-scenes stuff from training to everything else. Uh, what do you got coming up, Chris, for our audience? You know, guys, I want to say thank you for my, my members. You know, we went to just have a live together. Members do, do our membership in the uh, cyber, cyber website. And I say thank you, people. You follow me and my you know, all the fans have amazing video every week. I have a nice video for you. And make sure to see the documentary is backstage before my last boxing fight. And we just doing the the, the next uh, techniques Thursday. We do it for my Muay Thai coach. I know you love Muay Thai guys, and make sure you guys sign up. And soon we're gonna have more videos. And thank you very much, all my fans. Enjoy your Fourth of July. Stay with your family, and God bless everyone.